Good morning, everyone. It's it's Mr. Dyson story time, and this time I've decided to read Squish Squash Squeeze by Tracy Calderoy and Jane Chapman. And here we go. This book, although I love it, it doesn't belong to me. It belongs to my son, and um, my son's only one. Well, he's he's one and a half now, and in fact. The the book is quite long for a, a one-year-old, so we usually only get about halfway. But as I read it, I'm going to tell you some things he likes to do. And I, I'm going to try my best to show you the pages as we go as well. And for you to really enjoy, but understand and see the picture and how that helps us enjoy the book. Okay? Uh, right, so let's get started. Squish, squash, squeeze. It says, Mouse's new house seems perfect, with just enough room for his things. But who's that growling by the piano? And who's that snapping in the bathtub? And who's that sliding down the banister? Soon the house is bursting at the seams with a squish squash squeeze. And here we go. Squish squash squeeze by Tracy. Calderoy and Jane Chapman. And it's got a mouse, the main character. And the mouse is pulling, he's, he's, really, he's pulling all these new things and he's trying to find his new and he's really straining. But he's working hard, isn't he? You can see on his face how hard he's working. Right. First page. Have a little look. Mousy's new house had shady trees and a roof like a witch's hat. It had creaky steps and flower pots and pegs for muddy boots. Ooh! cried Mouse as he marched on in. It's just right. We can see about all the things he was talking about there, so we can see it's creaky looking, isn't it? It's looking very old. And these boots on pegs. And one thing my son always does, which is very interesting when I'm reading it him, to him, he always tries to spot the spiders. So on every page, there's a spider as well. Lovely illustrations. Okay. Mouse quickly shooed away the cobwebs. And look! A piano! He smiled. He jumped right up and started to play. Plink, plonk, plink, plonk, plink, plonk. But all of a sudden... Can you see the spider? Can you see where that spider is? You can pause if you want to pause and have a look. Each time you can do. Rawr! A big brown bear, big and strong, burst out. I'm a scary bear in a scary house, and there's no room in here, not even for a mouse. Mouse, being brave, folded his arms. You don't scare me, Mr. Grumpy Pants. There's plenty of room, so more no, and so no more stuff and nonsense. With that, Mouse started to unpack his books. Bear, you can help me too, he smiled. Can you see? Big Bear speaking to the little mouse. Can you see that spider again? Keep looking out for that spider. Mouse. Skipped up his just right stairs all the way to the bathroom. But when Pete round the door and we're left in suspense there, what's going to happen? So he managed to climb all the way up to the top of the stairs. But just before he got in, when he peeped just round the corner, what did he see, I wonder? 
there's a bit of a clue actually on that page. Can you see it? Look at the top of your stairs. What can you see just there at the top? Have a look. Snap! A crocodile was crammed in the bath. I'm a scary croc in a scary house. And there's no room in here, not even for a mouse. Mouse shook his head. There's plenty of room, Mr. Snippy Snap, he said. Now, my plant needs a drink, so please turn on that tap and no more stuff and nonsense. Very brave, this mouse. Isn't it? Look how brave he is. Up against a very big animal. I don't know if I would be that brave if, um, if a crocodile was in my bath. Although I think I'd be very worried if a crocodile was in my bath. I think I'd be screaming for Mrs. Dyson to come and help anyway. Bit by bit, Mouse squeezed all his things into that tiny house. Only two more boxes, he clearly said very proudly, trotting through the hall. But before he could unpack them, he heard a huge... Oh no, something else is going to happen now. What's he going to hear now? Can you see how, how Mouse is unpacking all his things? Can you see the spider? Is he on that page? Don't know if he is actually. Maybe you can spot it and I can't. Whoosh! And the tiger came whizzing down the banister. I'm a scary eek! The tiger squealed as he flew off the end and... What do you think is going to happen if he flew down that banister so fast? What do we think might happen at this point? Tell somebody in your room. Tell somebody. Have a little have a little think. What might happen right now? On this next page. And let's see if you're right. So he's come whizzing down that banister. And we can see some animals at the bottom. What's going to happen? Crash! Now look what you've done, grumbled Bear. There's no room to be untidy, snapped Crocodile. I just went too fast, Tiger sighed. I'm sorry. It was quite a mess. Right, said Mouse. No more stuff and nonsense. Let's all tidy up. Then we can have some tea. Something Miss, uh, Mrs Dyson, again, she turns up in this book quite a bit, um, is telling me to tidy up a lot. And my son Theo. Let's see. And the mouse is telling all the other bears, the bear, tiger and, and, and crocodile to tidy up as well because of the mess they've caused. With a wiggle and a jiggle and a squish, squash, squeeze, there was uh, just enough room for the four of them. Budge up a bit, bear, tiger tutted. Move your tail, tiger, grumbled bear. I need the loo, squeaked crocodile, let me through. Just then, there was a strange rumble underneath the floor. Oh my, cried Mouse. What was that? It sounded like something big, a gulp there. And scary, gasped Tiger. Listen, look, look at them all there, really worried about what's under the floor. Let's see. Rumble, fumble, thump. It's coming nearer. Crocodile cried with his chattering teeth. He's really scared. The noise grew rumbler and thumbler until the teacups jumped in their saucers. You can hear it now, that clinging sound as a saucer. And a tea, a cup of tea, the porcelain of the, the sound it makes. It sounds like it's in our house. Tiger trembled. What if it wants to live here too? There was only one thing for it. Now stood tall and called in his biggest, bravest voice. I'm a scary mouse in a scary house. And there's no... And just then, we're left. Because we don't know what's going to happen. And we can see Mouse is balancing. It says, 
house and there's no and then we don't know what's going to happen next so something clearly does because he couldn't finish his sentence so let's see you can see them there don't forget to pause it if you wish to have a look longer at the pages ah down 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 uh, tumbled mouse through a giant hole in the floor he landed boom and looked around Oopsie, said a little mole, blinking at the rumpus he'd caused. I must have dug a bit too much, and now I've made this great big hole under your house. I'm so sorry. But Mouse started to smile. Stuff and nonsense, he said. It's just what we need. And with a wiggle and a jiggle, this time, there really was plenty of room for everyone. Can you see? And in this plenty of room for everyone, because he's dug the hole and the, and the floor has actually fallen through, all of them can now fit in the house. Let's see, we have the mole who dug the hole. We have mouse who found the house. We have the bear who roared, and the crocodile who snapped, and the tiger who went flying down the banister. Something I don't advise. Oh, and who have we got here? Yes, that was right, we have the spider as well. Hopefully, as my son grows older, I'll be able to get to the end of the book with him. But thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did reading to you. I hope you've had a lovely Easter and I shall speak to you all very soon. Okay.